today, as you can see, I got all my um, stuff in my pack taken out, and I literally just took it out, and um, I'm going to be going over what you should bring with you on a generally small hiking trip uh, in distance and in time. And uh, I'm actually packed for a specific camping trip, or hiking trip rather, that I'm going on soon. And uh, it was actually planned for today, but we looked into the weather and there's supposed to be a couple of thunderstorms tomorrow. So we're gonna postpone it probably a couple of days. And uh, that actually brings me into it. Before you ever go on a hiking trip, just make sure you know what's coming. Make sure you, if you don't know the trail, and you haven't gone on it before like get some reviews on it see if other people have gone on it you can uh, check something Google Earth I've used that several times and uh, times that I've gone hiking and uh, Google Earth is a really good resource for hikers because you can check areas that aren't inhabited by houses you can see where there's trails where there's uh, roads rivers railroads all that kinds of stuff you can find it on Google Earth usually and uh, the most recent pictures they've taken are about 2006 which isn't too long ago three years so um, it's a pretty good uh, resource for hikers so now I'm gonna get into this right here a good uh, part to start once you actually get your uh, hiking gear is what you're gonna put it in your pack in this case, it's a Western pack. It's just a normal standard backpack. I don't know a uh, specific model name of this. All I know is Western Packs makes it. And I just forgot to unclip this. Just gonna put that in there. And uh, I really like this pack. I've used it for my past five or six um, hiking trips and a few more camping trips before that. And uh, I'll just briefly go over this it's a uh, pretty big I don't know any of the technical specs on it but I can just go over the compartments and here in the main compartment there's a zipper with the support here for your back so it keeps it straight and there's a zipper in here that you can just slip a camel back into just like that so I just when I'm ready to go I fill this up with water slip it in there and then zip it all the way up until there's a little hole so the hose can lead out. And in here, uh, on the very bottom, there is another one of these that tightens and closes. So the very bottom compartment here, I don't know if you can see that, the very bottom compartment here, you can get stuff that you put in first so you don't have to dig everything out. And there's also a side compartment to help with that as well. And this secures by clipping got two clips and they tighten and then on the top there are two straps that you can tighten and these are for t tents and sleeping bags and uh, there is a problem I found with these there's one on the bottom as well they're about the same size and the biggest they open up is that I don't know if, how well you can see that on the camera but um, it's not that big it's probably a five inch diameter maybe a little less and when you're trying to fit a 12 inch diameter sleeping bag in it, it doesn't really work out so I actually keep the sleeping bag in the main compartment of the, uh, the backpack because I usually don't fill that up so um, I got the hose here I call this like the, the main storage for uh, readiness and so this is part of that. It slips through one of the straps when I'm hiking. So I'll have that there. I'll usually have this, as you saw, I clipped this off of it. This is a compass with a small light on it. So uh, I always bring more than one compass just because if one breaks, then what are you gonna do? There are ways to find out uh, direction, but it's just much easier. Compasses don't weigh much, so. I got a carabiner that has a compass built into it and uh, that's attached to a piece of rope which is a uh, which has a whistle on it and you should always bring a whistle I actually have two whistles in this case as well um, so 
So this just clips onto this little carabiner thing here. And uh, so that's part of it. Like I said, this is usually part of it. And um, a lot of times I'll have the, these little note cards made by Pathfinder and they have treatment of poison ivy, how to avoid hypothermia, what to do in a bear attack, all that kind of stuff. And I usually keep that clipped here as well. But uh, in this case, I don't because for the most part, I've gone over all that stuff and uh, I know it by heart basically. But um, let's see. And then, the, haven't finished the pack yet. On the side, there's one of these identical on the other side. It has a uh, stretchy water bottle holder right here and then just a main compartment right here with the zipper and on this there's another clip with a tightener on it and it just clips on there and then you can tighten it down and like I said there's the same one on the other side right here there's one main compartment here and then the bottom which I already went over and this there's also a, an identical pocket like this on the other side. So, done with the pack. Now, uh, get into your gear. First thing I'll go over is what I actually carry on me. Right now, I don't think I have anything. Well, actually, yes, I do. My cell phone. Even though some people may think that cell phones will ruin your vacation trip if it's a camping trip or hiking trip, but really, you're going to want a phone. If you get lost or something and you have to call for help, so I bring a phone and uh, as long as you just keep it off and turn it away until you need it you shouldn't have a problem with with that and, uh, so I also keep this right here on me a watch this has a few uses like finding direction of course finding time and um, but I always have a watch just so I know a general idea of what time it is and uh, flashlight especially if you're going to be hiking towards the end of the day because if you are planning on being at your campsite or wherever you're gonna uh, stay the night if you're gonna be planning on going there before it's dark but close to when it's gonna be dark you should have the flashlight already on you so if you do not get there in time and it gets a little dark and you can't see your pack and your tent if you got to set that up that is the one thing I didn't bring out here is the tent but I would have brought that when I go. So I got, it's just a little mag light. It's uh, two AA batteries, very light, and it has a nylon uh, holder. So I carry that as well, and then finally a knife. This is the Buck 110 Hunter, previously reviewed. And uh, I really like this knife too. It's a great hiking slash camping knife. Heavy duty, but it's not too, uh, hard to carry with you and uh, next I also have another knife this depending on where I'm going I uh, will have this either in the pack or on me and if I have this one on me I'll have that one in the pack this is the Leatherman Surge also previously reviewed and then uh, the next thing I want to get into is food and uh, so what I got out here like I said since I'm actually planning on going, this is the food I have planned. It's not a very long hiking trip, but there's two Nutri-Grain bars, sealed, and Spam and White Tuna. And these are in the foil wrap, so you don't have to carry the weight of the can, but it's still sealed and compact. So th that's probably my favorite kind of food to take with you, or take with me on a hiking trip, because it's lightweight, it's compact, easy to make, there's virtually no preparation. Um, even though I do bring this part of my mess kit, you can get into uh, mess kits as well, but uh, a lot of the times you won't need a mess kit depending